What is up guys, Hebrew Hammer here with ANR Gaming back once again with another AFK Arena video, this time with the coolest news of all time. We have another new character coming and her name is Sophia? Sophia or Sophia? I'm not sure which one. I think it's Sophia, but I like Sophia better, so I'm just going to default to Sophia from now on. But it is Sophia, the daughter of the desert and I am so excited about this one. Now, it's interesting that they released her as a Mauler because we already have six Maulers and every uh, faction in the game so far, excluding Graveborn, has six ascended tier level uh, characters, excluding the Celestials and the Hypogeans, obviously. But I really thought that the next character was going to be a Graveborn to make you know that faction f6 but i guess not they decided to go with another mauler so um yeah so she's coming out she looks really cool not gonna lie uh her character model looks awesome she's like a weird cat bat chick but it looks really cool so uh, i'm super excited about that uh her abilities look really interesting uh I, i'm gonna dive into that a little bit more in a second but i think a, an important thing to note here is character cadence uh, it hasn't been too long since we've seen Aziz, or whatever his name was, the last character, the Hypogean, come out. So it looks like the cadence of new character release is pretty solid so far. I only really have, you know, that to this character <laughs> to go off of, but, um, you know, so far it's looking pretty good. I I'm, I'm really excited about that. That's good news. Another interesting thing, I know we've all been waiting for another event. Uh, on the Facebook page for AFK Arena, someone did comment something on this character mentioning that they want new events and uh, the creators did comment back and they said, we're coming out with new events. They didn't say when, but they said that they're coming. So that's good news there. It means we are gonna be getting stuff in the future at least. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. I don't know if I'm greedy or if it actually has been a long time since the Easter event. I don't know, but either way, I want more stuff. So, um, let's go ahead and move on to our abilities real quick. So, number one, Falling Sun. Uh, Sophia focuses her energy into a large, powerful orb that deals AoE damage on impact. This is the interesting part. Depending on how long Sophia focuses her energy, the orb will deal more damage, with the area effect also increasing in radius. So that means that the longer she charges it, the bigger the radius and the bigger the damage is going to be on impact. So, and then it gets even stranger with this one. Pressing Sophia's portrait initiates the focusing and then pressing the portrait once again releases the orb. So for the first time, we're gonna have a character with some micromanagement in it. Um, you know, we can always take our characters off auto if we want and, you know, select when to use our abilities, but in most modes, that's not necessary, and in some modes, you straight up can't, but in this one, you actually have to control it to a degree. I'm not sure if there's going to be some kind of auto setting whenever you have it on auto for how long she'll hold it or if she won't hold it at all, but I think that that's really interesting, and I wonder how that's going to work in Arena, especially, but that also is kind of a little bit of a downfall because there's a lot of characters with with hard CC in this game. And whenever you get hard CC'd, I believe uh, it'll stop that charge probably. So that could really screw some things up. But, you know, it could be one of those high risk, high reward characters where it could do a lot of damage if she is able to charge it up to the utmost. So we'll see what happens with that one. But that is something to be careful about and pay attention to. Next, Scattered Bolt. Sophia fires a magic projectile at an enemy target, which deals damage and stuns them for a short time. After impacting the first enemy target, the projectile splits into several smaller and weaker projectiles that target other nearby enemies. So in layman's term, this thing is going to shoot out at a character, at an enemy rather, and uh, it's gonna stun them and deal damage 
And then from there, it's gonna that little projectile is gonna break off and attack other people that are nearby. Good, you know, we don't have any hard stats yet, so we don't know how long that stun is or anything or the progression of this ability, but that seems pretty solid. Already she has some good utility on her and, you know, her damage, you know, that, that interesting ability with the falling sun <coughs> could potentially be something insane. So I'm interested to see how that plays out. Next, we have Static Field. Sophia provides the most forward positioned ally with an electric aura that lasts for several seconds. The electric aura deals damage over time to every enemy standing within its radius. So that'll actually be super useful because if you have a tank that can have, that has an ability to clump characters really easily, enemies really easily, that could be super useful. Or if you have a really big um, character model to tank that it throws on, that's also gonna be really useful because it will, you know, the range of it essentially will be larger. So yeah, I'm not sure how much damage it's gonna do yet. It could be something that's really minuscule and it's not gonna matter, but I would imagine it's probably gonna do a good bit of damage. Either way, it's another kind of ability that we haven't really seen so far. So I'm really excited to see that in action and I think it'll be super useful. Next, we have Spectral Disruption. At the beginning of the battle, Sophia casts a circular enchantment on the ground that lasts for several seconds. All allies standing within the circle have their attack ratings increased and all enemies standing within the circle have their attack ratings as well as their haste reduced. This is huge, I think. First of all, keep in mind, this is at the beginning of the battle. So if she casts that at the beginning of the battle, it's going to really screw up everyone's energy gain from the enemies. Not to mention, it's gonna give you a huge advantage right off the bat because their attack ratings are gonna be lower, so they're not gonna be doing as much damage. So the fact that this hits early is really huge, I think. You know, once again, it kind of depends on how big of a hit they're taking. We don't have those numbers yet, but either way, really interesting, and I'm super excited to see what happens with it because honestly, you know, the biggest question mark here is that Falling Sun ability with the you know potential of it being canceled out but other than that i really like what i'm seeing here and uh, you know she's she's definitely going to be ranged so that's also a benefit you can throw her in the back line um you know if you can hide her away you know probably the top left if you can kind of hide her away and you can make that falling sun ability hit fairly easily without being interrupted that would be pretty nice but you know, we don't know 100% what's going to happen with that. So, either way, really cool character. Character model looks good once again. I'm really excited. The, the Maulers are my favorite faction. So, another Mauler in the game. I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> but anyways, that's going to do it, guys. Just wanted to give you that quick update on this new character. And uh, until next time, game on.